What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of the PSG Let's Play. If you're excited for this episode, hit the like button down below and subscribe for daily FM content on the channel. Down below is also my Let's Play channel which is currently got uh, Jedi Ford on there but there's more games coming soon when they get released. Also, down below, my Twitch channel. I am live on Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch, work permitting. I streamed yesterday uh, which is um, Sunday for... No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's, it's yeah. It, yesterday for me is Sunday, but yesterday for you will be Monday. It's going to have on Tuesday, um, because tonight there is engineer coming to fix the internet. He is well. He he just, he just he just left, but I couldn't stream. I didn't know how long it was going to be, so I did stream on Sunday and moved in whatever. So back on Wednesday is Juventus. You see the vod on Twitch now. Um, we've got. It's 15 point deduction in the start of the, of the save, so it's a bit of a challenge. And yeah, it's it's going okay, but I expect to lose every game for on stream. Does any time to do a stream, so it goes goes badly. Anyway, so today you've got three games off camera. Then we've got two big games. I say big games. Um, they're they're second and third in the league, and if we know to get win those games, the title is basically done. So, uh, games on camera. Let's take a look. You see 2 0, 1 0, 3 0, uh, bog standard results, really. Clean sheets, nice to see as well. Bounce back from those defeat, that defeat to Real Madrid. Um, we should win these games anyway, but I just I was more worried about the reaction to losing to Real Madrid. Would there be an adverse reaction to that result? I.e., they just fall apart and not to say lose games, but maybe a couple of draws in there, struggle to score, lack of confidence, all the rest of it. So the detail looks like this right now. We have currently got a 15 point lead at the top. If we win these two games today, I don't think it secures it today, but we're not far off. So what I'm going to do is I will do these two games, obviously, today. And then I'm not going to say what next icon is going to be because I don't know what what what, be the, what makes sense to do. So once we get to a game where we can secure the title, I'll then show that game, that, that game or games uh, if, I, if I work out, okay, win these two games, we're champions. I'll then go from there. So... Uh, it's going to be more of a kind of like I'll let you have to wait and see what games we show and go from there. So because um, I don't have the foresight to know uh, what's happened in the games, though we should win these matches um, in theory. So um, yeah, I think we just saw a goal of the season off camera. Uh, that goal for for I can't remember the games, one of the games, uh, Ronaldo scored an absolute thunder bastard. In if that's not goal of the season, I don't know what is. Uh, the only way it could not be goal of the season is to go for a team goal, which I wouldn't be averse. I, I wouldn't, be, you know, I wouldn't be. It, it, it would make sense. So yeah, given that these games are basically um, kind of like formalities now for the title, based on how dominant we usually are, I'm probably keeping some key highlights. I do have killer key highlights on in some games. Um, I don't know which is best highlights to go with. I feel like. I can glean enough from the team performance from key highlights, but I don't know. Um, the problem with doing key, key highlights on the YouTube video is you could have a problem where you don't have many highlight, don't have many, many um, things to show. 
But luckily, where we do the videos with the games off camera, you see goals anyway from those games anyway. So let's see how we get on today, folks. Hopefully, we get another win. We have changed one slight thing. Tactically, I'll show you what we've changed. Uh, not much, but we just we've gone for a slightly lower tempo. I feel like that might help us get the ball better. Um, in you know in games, but obviously in these kind of games, we'll, we'll keep the ball anyway, most likely. So here we go, then, folks. Let's see if we can get another win, another win towards the title. A really good Neymar, good ball. Neymar, Fabian, Messi, Neymar out for the season in real life, of course. Now great ball, but he's in. Surely one nil, and it is. Least nil, PSG won, and it's M I almost said Neymar. It's Mbappe who's got the goal. Absolutely brilliant. Um, great start to the game. Nice football from Messi here. Uh, Neymar just sees the, the movement from Messi or the high line they're playing more, actually, more appropriately to say. And he gets there first, gets the finish off, finds the back of the net, and it's 1 0 against Nice. And this will secure the title for these two games, but it'll be basically a formality at this point. What if we get if we do it? Schmeichel puts it out to Toledo. Nice football from Nice here. Very nice football from Nice. Get across to him. Offside, surely. Offside, ref. I think he's offside. Not Barkley. I think the first ball's offside. He looked it. Unless he's, let, unless he's timed his run brilliantly well, I think he's offside. Goal given. Who was the idiot to get to him in line then? Let's have a look. Ah, I can't see on on that one. Do they show a replay? Um, of what what offside are they checking for? Let's have a look. Oh, they're not showing it. Never mind. <laughs> Akimi, Messi, Fabian, Dembele. It's all about desire in this game. Bernat, Upacano, Verratti, Fabian, get it out of this area. You're overplaying it. There you go. Mbappe's for one goal. Show you two nil. Oh, two one. I don't know why he's gone straight that goal there. He cleared to go to keep his right, didn't he? Surely. Free kick for Pepe to take. Swings it in the penalty area. It was goal. Typical, isn't it? The one time we do a live call, every other game we've played off camera since the Madrid game, we dominate possession every single time. And then the second I hit the record button, this this performance kicks in. Mbappe, Messi, wins it. Finds Jonathan Mbappe, he does. A bit of fortune there. Near margin of the box. Here's a shot of the bar. Just never felt like a goal, did it? Just this, I think it's the 4 4 2 that's breaking this tactic every time we play against it. Aquinos. Mbappe. He's got to do better with that. He's got to win that. Yeah, it's a 4 4 2. They're playing a 4 4 2, essentially, aren't they? And it breaks again every year when AI plays it. Then cross that in. That's too easy. Stop the cross. Well done. Messi's got that. Now then, he's not got many options here other than Mbappe. Can he find him now? Messi, brilliant stuff. Still Messi. Mbappe! Offside, but he's got to score that. Even if he's offside, he's got to score it. That's just a, that's just a poor finish. Mbappe's cost us at least one goal today with, with poor finishing. We're just letting him get the ball in that area too much. I don't know. I don't have to change that though because I don't want it. mean changing the formation. Off. Oh come on, lads. Yeah, we need to. We need to just we need to start marking people up a bit better. Uh, I think the low work rate is a problem. Um. So who do you reckon you should be marking up? Because I feel like we need to just start. Yeah, we've got to start shutting these wingers down. The problem is the drop into midfield. I do feel though the four four two in any way you, in any way you do it um, breaks the game on a consistent basis. Um, I don't know why it does it, but it does. It just feels like you, you, your team can't cope with two strikers and two wingers. Um, I don't know why. I don't know how to combat it because I don't want to go to the DM formation because it's not how we play. Um, but yeah, we're just not keeping the ball enough, and that's the problem today. They they've got more possession than us, and when we get chances at the moment, Mbappe is missing them. He's, he's scored one, giving credit for that, but he's missed at least two good opportunities um, when he we, when he could have scored. Mbappe, pass it, 
Messi. I feel like, I feel like times the, the players want to do too much on it by themselves. Then Bele, is it on goal? I'm waiting for the flag. Go given. Okay. Just that seemed too quick. Um, nice one, PSG two. Dembele is unlucky here. This is a good ball from Verratti here. And then Hakimi and then picks out the poor marking there. He's two footed. Good shot. And then he just bounced back to him and he just kind of walks into it. I was, it just felt too quick that. I'll take the goal though. 2 1. Brilliant stuff, Dembele. Brilliant. Brilliant. Obviously, Baba gets the goal though. Long ball. Come on, let's fight for the ball better than that. That's a goal. Yeah, just the, the lack of desire and work rate in this game is, is the problem. A lot, lot of balls in the air, we're just not win. We need to go for win the ball and take the man out as well. And just, we, right now we're just kind of like hoping we win the ball. Don't possess the keeper, they're marking it. Get, oh, you fucking... Again, they're trying to keep possession under pressure. They've got to... In that situation, I, we all saw it, didn't we? I said, if he, if he takes a touch... I didn't say it, but if, if, if he takes a touch or plays it into the middle, we're screwed. In that situation, clear the ball. Under pressure, the ball in the centre is too dangerous. Don't stand on it, clear it out. That's the problem with this. If a team are match engine, it's one of the two. Either match engine still got issues with it, or this, these players are just making wrong decisions every five minutes. Um, that needs to be clear from Lucano. Not a great second half. Ball in the box, clear by Bernat. Neymar, off you come. Yeah, backing out of that one, you're coming off, lad. I cannot stand when players do that. What's his work rate like? Yeah, I might have to sell Neymar. I don't really rate him on the game. Uh, off you come, lad. Uh, Mbappe can go there. I'm now looking to go up front. Because I think Mbappe's got not a bad work rate. I think what we need to do look at this in, in this team is improve the work rate. And I think too many players in this team are just not working hard enough um, because they haven't got the work rate to do it. And that's a penalty. Wow. Get it clear. There you go. Yeah, Neymar. Too many players in the team have low work rates. And I need to maybe look at that. I think Neymar might, might, might be one of those players that gets sold for a better wing of a higher work rate. Ratty. Bernat. That's a poor pass. It wasn't on. You're right there, mate. Go on, get the... This is, this, this is ridiculous. It's all down to work rate, I think this. They're literally just not closing down and trying to get the ball. They're walking around the pitch and give it, not, not giving two shits. Um, right here, he's got to get that. He's got he's, he's got to get back there. Marquinhos has got to keep on that run there. He comes across. and doesn't, If you're going to come across, you've got to sprint over there and get the ball. You can't just walk across and leave a gap and let the guy play it through. You might as well mark the runner. Honestly, we're full time, and I need to seriously look at some certain players in this team. I think there's too many players in this team have a poor, poor work rate, um, and I think Neymar's one of them. Me to look and I think we have to move him on. Um, I cannot stand players who don't work hard. It's just the it's a lot of the oh well, Champions League qualifications done. That was kind of a given. What we got money wise, a lot. That's a lot of money. I'll take 150 million pounds. Yeah, Neymar. He doesn't score enough. But Messi's work rate. What's his Messi? What's Messi's work rate? Yeah, I think we need to get. Yeah, I think we need to just matter this team and just improve the work rate on players. I don't know if you if you agree, but I cannot have a team full of players who don't work hard. Um, yeah, Neymar, you don't score enough goals. You're not working hard enough. I say that he's got the. I just, just feel that times. I just feel like a lot of the times when we concede goals, it's down to guys not putting the effort in, and I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, you can't really work on work rate, can you, really? Um, it's not something you can really do. Um, yeah, work on his endurance. It's not going to make a difference, because I don't think it can. But anyway, still going to win the league. This is the point how we how, how we lose games is the problem. So, guys, um, we've got the youth intake. It's come through. It's a four-star one. And the best player on the pit on the on it is Anthony. I don't want to say this name because I'm gonna get it wrong. Ha good again. I'm not quite Anthony. Anthony. Um, what 
he's a four star potential player, maybe five star potential winger slash striker. Uh, I would put him more as a striker role. Um, five foot eleven looks pretty good. Obviously, I don't know if these guys are going to be here in using the team. Look at the hair on this dude. Wow, fair play. Um, another striker slash winger uh, who's very strong on his left foot. So I'm probably going to get in the point of a striker, honestly. Um, then you've got um, Johnny Dipwint. Is that? Oh, that's probably not right. That's wow. He looks very good. I mean, straight away he's got 15 tackling for a 16 year old. He's got a um, team look 16, good work rate, good decent determination. Very two footed as well. Looks all right. Then you're looking at uh, you're starting to get down to people like Tangi Vicente, who's a midfielder, um, who's got who's got um, great work rate and determination. Uh, but again, can play centre mid and also can play left wing, which is interesting. Um, and then Gabriel, God, uh, Gabriel Vicini, Vicini. Uh, it's probably not right. It's probably not right at all. Um, again, looks all right. Um, looks decent. Um, again, another striker. Um, so basically, strikers. What they've got. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody else in the youth? Candidates that we should be able to take a look at. No, they're the main ones. The good talents down here. I mean, I've, I've told them to sign recommended players. I always do the same thing. Uh, yeah, so another game. Another chance, chance to get three points in the bag. Um, they're playing five at the back. Technically not, technically not. It's actually seven at the back. Um, yeah, just... It It feels like an end of the season climactic. End of the season, doesn't it? I mean, look at the goal returns of Mbappe and Ronaldo. I can foresee me playing Mbappe on the left-hand side and Ronaldo up front on the striker up front. Neymar, I'm still not sold upon. I'm really not. Um, I'm really not sure. I would love Haaland in this team up front. I would love Haaland up front with Mbappe on the left. That would be fantastic. Whether or not, whether or not it's workable, I don't know. Um, but I don't know. Are you guys think you thought we, we can discuss this in the season review about about Neymar? Uh, because I just of all the attacking players we've got, he's the one that I just I'm not. I just can't seem to get on board with. I don't know what it is. Um, Mbappe with a shot. Yeah, that's powerful. Messi, yeah, that's a corner kick. I, when I watch him play and he gets the ball, I don't believe he's going to do something. Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Asensio, even then barely a little bit, I think they might do something. But with him, I just feel like it's... No. I just don't think it's going to happen. But I could be wrong. Is a... Again, just go get the ball. Okay, and the highlight. Samba. So we should be on this now. They're playing a the short pass. But we're standing off like we've got half an hour. Like it's like a nothing game. Go get the ball. Yeah, it's, it, this is not good football. This is not 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 forcing forcing to anything difficult. Akimi, look alive. Again. Again, all comes down to lack of pressing, lack of determination, lack of um, energy trying to get the ball back, lazy play, reactive, um, rather being proactive, and this is going to be a goal. This is a penalty, yeah, nailed on. But once again, ball goes wide, we're, not, we're watching it. We're not watching what the team's doing, we're watching what the ball's doing. And we need to just do a bit more watching them. This is a goal. Don't really want to save this. Yeah, one nil. It's ridiculous. Any team that has any kind of decent performance in it seems to be able to compete with us, and that's not acceptable. But that goal, once again, comes down to the wide defending on fullbacks. I keep calling it out until the fix saying we get calling it out. Um, but yeah, we're not. We've got a high press on, but we're not pressing it. I don't know how you get pressing the working foot manager. I'm starting to think it doesn't work. Honestly, I'm starting to think it doesn't work pressing on foot manager. Oh, good shot. It's like you put a press on, but it doesn't do it. It doesn't. I don't think the. I think they need to get out of the game until they can fix it, because this is ridiculous. Long ball top again. No pressure on the ball. Like I've got a full press on here. I'm gonna go attacking to make a difference. But please, aside, can you get a a, a detailed analysis on your pressing and your tactic because. 
I'm not seeing in the game. It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't. Even explain how it's supposed to be implemented because right now I'm at a loss. I'm doing the if I've got the literally the things on saying press, press, press. And my team's doing this. Look, standing there watching, they're not pressing. Either again, Akimi, awareness. Either fix the pressing or explain it better. Because right now this is not what should be happening. Bernat. Messi, get the ball forward. Like it's like two pa five passes too many. Messi, Mbappe, good ball. Now does in. <sighs> I know what he's trying to do there because there was no way he's bringing that ball down. Um, because if he takes an extra touch there, he loses that. He loses that. But he's just getting out of a chance. Hakimi, does it in? Ronaldo's in there. One one. There you go. Cue the mute, cue the celebration for Ronaldo. I'm actually trying to find a better one, but I think I think it's I think it's all right. You can you, you know you know what it is anyway, don't you? Um, keep it as well. It just drives forward. Look, doesn't doesn't just just goes into the space. They're giving him the option to go in there. Goes for it. Finds a cross. There's Ronaldo back of the net. Keeper maybe could have done better, maybe. But yeah, um, I may have a look at some tactics and how to do pressing. I'm not going to copy their tactic, obviously. But to look at how you get a team to press. And is it because we've got low low work rates in the attacking players? That's probably partly why. Um, Mbappe, cross it in. Throw in, jump, go get it, jump. Pathetic. Every ball in the air, we get beat by it at the minute. I don't know why. After time, I'm going to change something and try and see if this makes a difference. Unacceptable. Um, I'm going to put these all these guys on attack. Um. I'm just thinking what to change. Um, because we've got that on. We've got the highest line possible. We've got um, step up more. I just... I think we need to go for a striker who's got high work rate. I think that would help. And I think we need to look at the wingers as well. It can't hurt, can it? But again, it depends on what we can do. I think that's why I'm thinking about getting a Neymar. Not because his goal return. I think he doesn't have the system of his pressing. He doesn't do it enough. So I think looking at players who've got high work rate and high uh, physical stats, that's what we may need to try and do more of and see if that makes a difference. It should help, in theory. Um, whether it does or not, I don't know. But that's what my theory is, Sensio. Oh, I thought it was in. I think it was in until the keeper got his hand in the way, which is really annoying that the keeper's got his hand there. That's really annoying that. He shouldn't do that. That's just completely un 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 unacceptable behaviour from a goalkeeper. Stopping that shot going in. Messi. Verratti. Too narrow here. There we go. Ah, in the highlight. Well, they're wasting time. They're obviously... We know we're going to win the league. It's it's, it's nailed on. But this is... I One thing I want to see next year is time-wasting yellow cards. Because if, I don't you don't see it, do you? Let's be honest. I don't, I don't, I don't, okay, but it's I don't, I don't about today. It's like, whatever. But it's like, you don't see yellow cards given to anything. They're blatantly doing it every single corner kick at times. But you never get booked for it. Ever. I don't, I don't recall ever seeing it. Honestly. But now, good ball. Mbappe, can I find a cross? Are you kidding me? Well, um... Yeah. I do feel like this is similar. We need to do, have a work around on, on some players. And it's mainly to get the system to work better. I feel the first person can work. But I don't think these players are good at, are good at, are good at it. And full-time, one one draw. Um, we're going to win the, game, the title. But I do feel like this team it needs to be looked at a little bit. Honestly, I can see Ronaldo being moved on as well. Um, whilst they're scoring goals, I think the system doesn't work with those with these guys in it. Um, we had a lot of chances in that game. Just don't take them enough. So we need to look at it. I think look at Ronaldo's work rate. I think that's low as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think there's too many players with low work rates in here. So we're going to look at that in the summer. Um, next episode, like I said, it's going to be it's going to be a matter of when I think the title can be won or when it can be won. I don't think it'll take much longer um, to win, to secure the title. We've got how many games left? Seven games left. And we're literally... 
I think it could look. I haven't done the maths yet, but it could be these games here against Troy and Jekyll here. Um, that being said, I'm not going to um, do the games off camera because I don't know how many it's going to be. Uh, it could be one game, that'll be it. So I'll come back to you when we get official news or when, when I work it out in my head when we win the title. Even if I work it out in my head right now with the maths, the games could go a certain way. That means it's, it's done earlier. So we'll see. If you've enjoyed it, I hope you have hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. Check out the um, Let's Be channel down below and my Twitch channel and my TikTok down below as well. And I'll catch you all in this episode. Bye-bye.